Welcome Coach P, better known as John the Goat Doe, also known by many as Coach Us, Honorary Uso. I'm so glad to have you on the show. I appreciate you, man. Thank you very much for joining me. Oh man, I'm glad to be I'm glad to be back, man. You know, it's been a minute. I I know you remember the call I made for you, but when I was just a little unknown out here, man, and I was out there then back in the day, so it's only right that I come back and give you a part two. This time we more familiar with each other, baby. What's up with you? I know everybody missed you. I know everybody missed you. So today we're gonna <laughs> recap what we learned against Miami. I mean, I don't know how much we're going to talk about Mercer, but we're just going to see where it goes. But the first thing I wanted to get at, everybody was doubting this young man. Maybe there was a camp that, you know, certainly believed I was in, in there. We're talking about Bryce Young. Comes out, and I mean, what he did was incredible. 344, four touchdowns, 27 to 38, leading Alabama to a 44-13 win over Miami. Your take, coach. I loved it, man. Hey, I was happy with Bryce overall play. I expected it. He was able to see the year and learn instead of being thrust into the spotlight of a true freshman and get a little more much-needed mental experience on his belt. I hate when kids come straight out of high school with that deep attitude that they just got to play right then or they leaving. What's wrong with developing? What's wrong with waiting your turn? Matt waited four years. Bryce only had to wait one. Kool-Aid said it best is a marathon, not a sprint. Most players don't even be ready. They just want to dwell in the hype. But like I said, I expected it. You got to think of it. With all the stars Nick brought to Tuscaloosa, all those top-tier recruits, Bryce is tied with Julio and Cyrus Quanjo as the top recruit Saban has ever brought to Tuscaloosa. Out of all these stars, he tied for the best. So you surround him with more stars, give him a year to develop, and I'm expecting something special, and that's what he showed. His stock is up. I'm talking up like a person with insomnia. Treated like treated the number 14 team like an unranked team. Don't act like a lot of these teams went struggling versus unranked teams, including Oklahoma versus Tulane. This guy had the patience and poise of a three-year starter. Might as well stand in a wheelchair because he ain't even used his legs like he could have. He'll be leaving Tuscaloosa with more records than a DJ at one of them bars on the strip. Like I said, all year, last year in my video, we in good hands with Allstate. That's Bryce Allstate Young. Roll Tide, baby, roll Tide. On the line with Coach P, better known as John DeGro Doe, also known by many as Coach Us, Honorary Uso. We appreciate you joining me. I know me. you missed me. <laughs> Everybody missed you. <laughs> I missed you. You got to go watch his videos. You got to follow him on social media. What's the best way for people to follow you? Oh, uh, man, uh, on Twitter and IG is the is at the UA Coaches. And if you just uh, go to YouTube, we got uh, just search unofficial assistant, the unofficial assistant coaches, and you'll see my channel, man. Make sure you uh, subscribe, like those uh, videos, and get in that comment section, man. I love my comment section. I answer every comment, no matter if it's a day ago, a year ago. I use it on Miss None, but sometimes people catch up on some of the old videos and, tr and try to drop updated uh, comments. I still find you. I respond to all fans, man. I love, I just love. The interaction with the fans. So, if you know, if you get on YouTube and follow me, I'll definitely get back with you. All right, Coach P, I got this, man. So, I mean, you got a 94 yard touchdown to uh, Jamison Williams. I mean, John Matchy goes off, hitting the pylon. Uh, I mean, the wide receivers, they don't stop Alabama. From Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs mostly recently, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith, and now you got Matchy, Jalen, and uh, Jamison killing everybody. What, what, what's your take in that first game? Oh, uh, man, on that one to mention, man. First of all, shout out to Evan Neal, a.k.a. Big Griddle, serving up pancakes every Saturday, butter not included. He stopped a standing outside linebacker who jumped outside and got a head start in his tracks to allow Bryce time to work his ma magic in the pocket. And he did just that, worked his magic. If you got a 4K TV and zoomed in, you can see Bryce actually say abracadabra before stepping up in the pocket and scrambling with his eyes Still down the field. As a dual-threat quarterback, we just knew Bryce was going to take off and get by eight to nine yards before being met by the members of the Miami Tropical Depression. But the young man was still looking for gold and struck it rich, similar to his preseason endorsement, and found his number one option, John Dunn, wide open, com coming across the field. After giving a super soft touch pass, Mitch handled the rest with one man to beat. The Dunn hit him with the speed change of high step, skipped to my loose style, scrambling the defender's brain frequencies, and ran right by him, the guy that never had a chance. And and if you if you haven't heard, the Canadian bacon everybody. And in the words of Biggest Smalls, <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. 
and it put a little extra spunk <laughs> on it for Sports on the Top 10, John Poole, the King and Drake Superman died from the five-yard line at an angle for the six. That, my friend, is how Belma started the season off in style. We missed a touchdown on the second play of the season, but still cashed in on the same drive in epic fashion. People, Shout out to that boy, John the Dunn. People asking, you know, Matchy, they're like, Coach mad at the high step? Come on, you know he's not mad at the high step. I mean, don't question Matchy hey, because, I you mean. And Judy was doing the same thing. <laughs> it's, it's scrambling those brain frequencies, man. You don't know what's the next move. You hey, when, you, when those legs get to, it's just like somebody finna start fighting and, you know, the old school cats used to start shifting their feet real quick so you can look down at their feet then they hit you with a jab. <laughs> Them, that, that feet throw your brain frequencies out, man, and it give you that change of speed. You just know, you don't know what the next step is, baby. I so, know Coach couldn't have been the mad at that. I'm going to have a talk with Coach about that when we'll get back on that. <laughs> uh, on with Coach P, better known as John the Goat Doe. Also known by many as Coach Uso. Honorary Uso. Follow him on his YouTube channel. Just type unofficial assistance. I don't even have to tell you where to go. You already know where to go. I'm with you watching the game, watching his breakdown. So you do too. I ask you about Evan Hill. Six foot seven, 360 pounds. He's box jumping, 40 inches, whatever it is. Best offensive lineman in college football. That's not only my opinion. I think there's a lot of NFL analysts that feel the same. Your take on him anchoring this offensive line. Oh, man, Evan, the real deal, Neil, a.k.a. Big Griddle, serving up pancakes every Saturday, but uh, optional. He developed in everything I was hoping he would be when we got it from IMG. I've been an IMG fan since both Scarborough, so every time I hear we looking at a player from IMG, I'm expecting a lot. Shout out to J.C. Latham as well since we speaking of IMG O-line stud. But as for Evan, I feel, like you said, the best lineman in America. It'll come down between him and and what's the guy, uh, Thibodeau or whatever his name out there, going for the top spot in the draft. Imagine if uh, imagine if he came to Bama as well, choosing Oregon over us. What a joke. As a defensive lineman, mm -hmm. not a quarterback, not a running back, not a wide receiver. You went to Oregon as a defensive end. That boy ring fingers cursing him out after every season. But as for Evan, he has shown his versatility, can play anywhere on the line, showed his athleticism with the viral video. If his parents still in his life, they can both go to work and cuff out the boss and walk out because Evan is out of here. <laughs> that boy walking me and now on the campus. But to all the ladies, you did not hear that from me. <laughs> we can't, hey, hey, coach, we can't forget about Trey Sanders also out of the IMG. We got Evan Neal, IMG, Jay Z Latham, and then Trey Sanders. Coach, Coach Saban, the first thing he said after the game was how happy he was for Trey Sanders scoring a touchdown. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm so happy to see Trey back. You know, Trey, hey, and, you know, we have a few more studs from IMG. I was just naming the offensive lineman, but guess what? Trey also predicted a Heisman coming up here, and I'm and I'm still holding him to that. I'm so glad to see him back back in action, looking good. You know, we all know the, the long road he, you know, went through to get back. He looking healthy. Uh, I love the way he bounced that thing out like a solid in basketball, you know, took it up the middle and bounced that thing outside. Just looking good, man. I know he been through so much. I was just like Coach, man, just proud of him. It's like seeing your kid out there. You just had so much. I'm talking about it was chill seeing him running, running there and get that touchdown. Shout out to Trey Sanders, man. Trey Day coming soon. Trey Day. Alabama's defense, William Anderson, uh, the Terminator, nine tackles, one sack. The defense, they look hungry. They look like they were trying to earn something, Coach. Hey, that defense was. Hey, but I, I just remembered you saying something to me. I forgot. I, shout out to Mitchie. But I, I did want to touch on that guy, uh, Williams, too. You mentioned that uh, that long touchdown. And, hey, and let's not forget, this is a first-time starter whom the play before was forced to throw the ball away prematurely, almost resulting into a safety. So, you know, in his mind, as a young first-time starter, has to be to get this ball out fast on the next play, maybe even rush the ball or took the ball and run for the play, even open up all the way. But no, this young man sat in the pocket like a cell phone set of keys and a wallet with the pause of a patience of a three-year starter like the play before never happened. Not rattled at all, trusting his line to hold up and giving the protection he needed. And I ain't talking condom. UPS, UPS couldn't have delivered a better ball from their truck. Look like he went to the tour of Tonga by Lower School of Fine Dimes. And delivered, and delivered that ball straight to Fort Knox because it was on the money. To Jamison and Jet Williams. And if you was watching that home in 4K, 
you can rewind that and look at it in slow motion and you can see smoke coming from that boy's shoe. If you glue wings to his shoulder pads before the play started, the boy would have took flight before he reached their 30-yard line. I ain't lying. Hey, at that very moment, we found out Jameis and the Jet Williams was a grill master. Because he smoked both of them boys, <laughs> medium well, the cornerback and the safety. The safety obviously flunked geometry a few times in high school, probably covered up so he could still play ball because he had the angle. And it got destroyed by the Jets. What angle? What angle? You won't see that much speed on National Geographic. Jameson couldn't even slow down. Lucky had them soft padding around for him to fall on, similar to the race cars going out the track and hitting the crash barrier. If it weren't for that, he would have ran straight into that guy filming full speed and caused more damage to a cameraman than Dennis Rodman did in 1997. <laughs> and know this. <laughs> and know this. That's a record set by a first-time starter that will never be broke. Even though records are made to be broken, this will stand the test of time. 94-yard touchdown on his first ever start, that will last the test of time. We won't see it before we leave this earth. I'm telling you that, Kyle. <laughs> now let's get to that defense. Uh, but Coach P, wrapping it up after Alabama's defeat over Miami, 44-13. to That defense, ferocious. They needed to come out, prove that they were hungry. This is a completely def different defensive mentality. The Terminator had nine tackles. One sack. What else did you see? What else did you like about William Anderson? Oh, uh, man. Hey, did, uh, you know that's my guy, the Matrix. Hey, about the whole deep. We traditionally are defensive school, but the offense been outshining that side of the ball for the last few years. We went, we went from a smash mouth, run first offense, down to our offense, to a high flying 2K25 scheme. And as the old progress, the defense kind of took a few steps backwards until this year. Shout out to the 2021 Crimson Cement defense. Lead game won by my one of my favorite players in college, the Matrix, Mr. Anderson. Will Anderson. You can plan all week to stop him, but if there's a will, there's a way, and he's proven that. This kid has that Derek Thomas motive. A offensive coordinator's nightmare. Nine tackles, one sack. Yeah, that's great stats. But if you add the fact he caused so many hurries, it's insane. With Chris out, I'm hoping Drew Sanders can keep the production going where teams can't just focus on wheel all game. And Drew is capable of five-star, according to 247. He was a highly ranked four-star by rivals in the ESPN. Shout out to Henry Toll Toll as well. I knew he had brains, a smart player, but I didn't know he was laying his bite on the line like Ruth and Foster. <laughs> on the first interception, he not only laid out the receiver, it was a Bama guy strapped on the receiver back who got blasted as well. He he got way more power than I, than I expected. The new little cornerbacks held up on their end. The only deep balls was thrown versus the safeties. And we was in good position, but it's hard to make a play on the ball when the refs ain't calling the offensive pass interference. The Miami, the Miami receivers had full arm extension, yet no call. I want to see a healthy LeBron Ray. Shout out to Coach Nita. He loves that kid as well. My boy Battle always ready to battle. And branching more, a Minka part two and three. Between Tim Smith and DJ Dale, I want to see you go step up and be the king of the middle. For Darian, the praying Mathis has a knack for making big plays. And the boy be a solid recruit. I'm hoping for match production from him. Christian Harris led the team last year in tackles. So I'm hoping everything even slower for him this year. Hit stick Helms should be healthy soon. And shout out to Kool-Aid who waiting his turn to become a true champ because he will definitely be shining soon. I'm loving the Crimson Seedman defense, man. I love what they got. I love what they got going on out there, Kyle. All right, so we got we got this offense. We got this defense who looks ferocious. We can't forget the special teams. Will Riker out here hit three field goals, including one for 51 yards out. He has 18 now in a row. The guy continues to hit field goals, extra points. Saban loves him. Everybody loves him. But the nation's still not giving him the notoriety that he deserves. Hey, he, they don't, the nation don't got to say nothing. We, we know what we got at Bama, and I, and I hope he can do I hope they give him three more Corona years because everybody know I love this guy. Shout out to my boy <laughs> Will, two wheels. We got two wheels starting this bus and they both rolling. Think about it. I remember me and Coach Nita went to see Hoover versus Thompson and got a look at a young Will Riker, and I put it on my Snapchat. We had a winner coming to T-Town. That boy was, and that boy actually kicking real life curveballs these yeah. days. And game one, I know you saw it. Can't believe the motion of that ball in the air coming off his foot. Everyone who watched my vids will tell you I'm a huge Will Too Real fan. Will Fives, man. That's my guy. You're my white blue. Shout out to other Will, Will Ferrell, man. That's my guy. 
<laughs> All right, before we uh, before we wrap it up, Coach V, and remember, if you like this content, hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. The super chats go to Coach P. So you want to support him, hook him up. All right, so hit the super chats. Are going to Coach P, aka the Goat John Doe. You know who he is. Follow all his videos. We'll put the videos inside the comment box. You just look for the unofficial assistant joining us right here on BamaInsider.com. Last thing I want to ask you about. All right. Bill O'Brien yeah. comes in. Um, the the best thing I love is after the game is Bryce is telling he's like, "Yo, Ob, Ob is calling these good plays and all this." And then I go and on the message boards on social media, people are like, "Oh, the plays are too vanilla." No, they just put up forty four points. They could have put up seventy. Your take on Bill O'Brien <laughs> and the offensive play calling? I love. Hey, I love the idea of having Bill O'Brien calling plays. Just more NFL juice on the staff. It was a little too early to speak on a play. We able to keep it simple first game. And and many plays could have been good calls with bad execution or bad calls that went better than expected because of Miami's lack of execution. After the season start call last year, it's going to be hard not to have high standards. And I do like the idea of Bill and Crimson. I support him, backing him 100%. As, as we go into the SEC schedule, I have a better idea of the offense and the play calling. We called a fairly simple game versus Miami with some great execution. I think we'll be okay. Just too many weapons. The weapons of mass destruction are located in Tidal Town. Shout out to Coach Saban. That's Coach P right here on Bama Insider. The GOAT, you know where to find him. Unofficial assistants. Coach P, better known as John the GOAT Doe, also known by many as Coach Oos. Honorary Uso, thank you so much for joining us. Hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe, fam. We appreciate you more than you know. If you like the content, hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. Super Chats, go to the coach. We will be back right here on BamaInsider.com. We appreciate you.